Hi guys, just want to make a quick video in regards to um, Bitrix exchange. As you can see from the title, Bitcoin altcoin exchange Bitrix eyed with suspicion due to thousands of mysterious account closings. Uh, before we get to the article uh, real quickly, I just wanted to say this is one of the reasons I always advise people when they ask me should they hold their cryptocurrency on exchange, I always say no. Unless you need the exchange, my advice will be keep your cryptocurrency in your own wallet. Once we send cryptocurrency over to an exchange, um, we pretty much uh, giving um, you know the power of the exchange to do whatever they want with our cryptocurrency. We are hoping that they are gonna obviously do what we ask them to do. For instance, you send your cryptocurrency over, you exchange for something, then you try to withdraw and you're hoping that you will get your cryptocurrency back, let's say to your wallet. But in some cases, like in this one, we can clearly see that if an exchange wants to do something, they will just do it. As well as we have seen in the past, exchanges being hacked, or at least that's what they claim uh, that have happened. And I personally myself always try to stay away from an exchange. Unfortunately, there are times that I do need to use them, such as when I'm trying to sell a cryptocurrency, um, because there's nothing else I can use. I mean, I can do peer-to-peer, -peer, but I'm not confident to do so, simply because I could be scammed there as well. Uh, and there are times where I need to exchange. For instance, as of lately, I've been trying to stack up a bit of Bitcoin cash, and the only option I felt like was for me to send my uh you know ethereum bitcoin whatever i have uh, to an exchange sell it and then buy bitcoin cash and this is why i was so happy yesterday when i talked about exodus adding up bitcoin cash and ethereum classic because i no longer have to send uh cryptocurrency over to an exchange where i don't control the key when you don't con control the key you don't control your money now i can just send it over to uh, exodus exchange for bitcoin cash and then send it back to my ledger nanoise for safekeeping so let's quickly look at what's happening guys quite a few complaints uh, have been sent to cointelegraph from bitrex users uh, one of them is claiming that he has six bitcoin worth thirty thousand uh, dollars in today value and no longer has access to his funds uh, in fact it is worth more than thirty thousand uh, my bitrex account is disabled for more than three days without any warning or announcement their support do not answer anything and this seems to be always the case when there's problems, unfortunately, with exchanges or companies, uh, you know, I don't want to mention names now, probably you know what I'm talking about. You try to send ticket, you receive nothing back for days, for weeks, for months, and it's frustrating. Although we submitted tickets about this issue to their support team, they with all obscenity and decency, instead of responding to their users' tickets, they just ignore us. In Iran, more than 3,000 accounts have been deactivated without reason. I talked to many users in Telegram groups and the most affected countries are Syria, India, Iran, Russia, Pakistan and Turkey. Now, looking at those countries, the first thing in mind is probably they are linked to criminal activity, but it's wrong for me to speculate. If any of you have any information, feel free to share with me and everybody else down below in the comment section. It is possible, but then again, you know, we don't know. And one thing is for sure that that is a proof that for whatever reason, if an exchange wants to do something, disable an account, uh, refuse to give the cryptocurrency back, they can do it. There's nothing uh, that can stop them. Once the cryptocurrency is over to their side, the ball is in their, you know, in their side and they can choose when to send it back or not to send it back. And that's why I always advise people, unless you need the exchange, try to stay away from that. I'm not trying to say anything bad for any exchange, but it's true, we have seen them being hacked in the past, as I've said, uh, like like in this case, disabling accounts without answering any support tickets. Uh, some people even claiming uh, that, uh, you know, when they started to ask Bitrix for support or they start opening tickets, then this is when their accounts got disabled. And this is apparently the, the message that currently everyone with disabled account is getting. Your account cannot be automatically enabled at this time. If you are one of those uh, person, you know, people, or you know anyone uh, with a disabled account, feel free to share with us what's the reason that your account or your friend, relative, whoever it is, uh, got their account disabled. Um, currently, Bitrix is staying silent. Nothing is coming from them in regards to this matter. So I'm guessing we just have to follow and see what happens. Uh, and real quickly, as you can see, um, they have been in the past, in fact, last week, very strange happenings um, 
finally something happened with the prices of the old coins uh, so right here every single cryptocurrency alts listed on Bitcoin has fallen in very similar pattern in relation to one another not every coin but coins that are listed on Bitrix between the hours of 12 and 9 at UTC4 and uh, on 8th of October 2017 a large number of alts experienced a massive dump ex executed within minutes of each other coincidence or what so very strange behavior currently are happening uh, over to Bitrix hopefully you know it's nothing uh, to worry about and finally no other exchange has experienced this pattern in the, their assets cryptocurrencies that were not listed on Bitrix were not affected in the same way every other exchange we looked at Binance, Kraken, Bitstamp, Coin, Coinbase, GDAX, COS, uh, Cryptopia, Yovit all experienced patterns that were indicative of market reactions steaming from a single source of flash sale down Bitrix so there you have it guys this is the latest I'm gonna put a link in the description to the article you can come check out the whole article you can read it for yourself and again as I said guys this is my personal advice unless you need an exchange for whatever reason uh, such as selling exchanging I don't know maybe even holding there are certain cryptocurrencies that possibly don't have wallets uh, or you feel like safe holding them in an exchange then fair enough but myself i try to not hold cryptocurrency over to an exchange one thing is also very disappointing um it has happened to me in the past is with those exchanges and i feel like they're they're obviously doing it it feels like they're doing it on purpose uh such as you try to send from your wallet certain x amount of cryptocurrency to an exchange in order to sell or trade simply because the price is high and it take ages to be credited and I don't understand as to why this is happening uh, when you know maybe the day before you send uh, you know again possibly the same amount or even bigger and it got credited within minutes and today for instance is taking hours and I gotta tell you guys this is the the thing exchanges can do whatever they want and sadly sometimes they are doing it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me if you enjoy the channel feel free to subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one but an exchange where i don't control the key when you don't con control the key you don't control your money now i can just send it over to uh, exodus exchange for bitcoin cash and then send it back to my ledger nano s for safekeeping so let's quickly look at what's happening guys quite a few complaints uh, have been sent to coin telegraph from bitrex users uh, one of them is claiming that he has six bitcoin worth thirty thousand dollars uh, in today value and no longer has access to his funds uh, in fact it is worth more than 30,000 uh, my Bitrix account is disabled for more than three days without any warning or announcement their support do not answer anything and this seems to be always the case when there's problems unfortunately with exchanges or companies uh, you know I don't want to mention names now probably you know what I'm talking about you try to send ticket you receive nothing back for days for weeks for months and is frustrating although we submitted tickets about this issue to their support team they with all obscenity and decency instead of responding to their users tickets they just ignore us in Iran more than 3,000 accounts have been deactivated without reason I talked to many users in telegram groups and the most affected countries are Syria India Iran Russia Pakistan and Turkey now looking at those countries the first thing in mind is probably they're linked to criminal activity but it's wrong for me to speculate if any of you have any information feel free to share with me and everybody else down below in the comment section it is possible but then again it, you know we don't know and one thing is for sure that that is a proof that for whatever reason if an exchange wants to do something disable an account uh, refuse to give the cryptocurrency back they can do it there's nothing uh, that can stop them once the cryptocurrency is over to their side the ball is in their you know in their side and they can choose when to send it back or not to send it back and that's why i always advise people unless you need the exchange try to stay away from that i'm not trying to say anything bad for any exchange but it's true we have seen them being hacked in the past as i've said uh, like like in this case disabling accounts without answering any support tickets uh, some people even claiming uh, that you know when they started to ask bitrix for support or they start opening tickets this is when their accounts got disabled 
and this is apparently the, the message that currently everyone with disable account is getting your account cannot be automatically enabled at this time if you are one of those uh, person you know people or you know anyone uh, with a disable account feel free to share with us what's the reason that your account or your friend relative whoever it is uh, got their account disabled um, currently Bitrix is staying silent nothing is coming from them in regards to this matter so I'm guessing we just have to follow and see what happens uh, and real quickly as you can see but it's true we have seen them being hacked in the past as I've said uh, like like in this case disabling accounts without answering any support tickets uh, some people even claiming uh, that uh, you know when they started to ask Bitrix for support or they start opening tickets then this is when their accounts got disabled and this is apparently the, the message that currently everyone with disabled account is getting your account cannot be automatically enabled at this time if you are one of those uh, person you know people or you know anyone uh, with a disabled account feel free to share with us what's the reason that your account or your friend relative whoever it is uh, got their account disabled um, currently Bitrix is staying silent nothing is coming from them in regards to this matter so I'm guessing we just have to follow and see what happens uh, and real quickly as you can see um, they have been in the past in fact last week a very strange happenings um, apparently something happened with the prices of the old coins uh, so right here every single cryptocurrency alts listed on Bitrix has fallen in very similar pattern in relation to one another not every coin but coins that are listed on Bitrix between the hours of 12 and 9 at UTC4 and, uh, on 8th of October 2017 a large number of alts experienced a massive dump ex executed within minutes of each other coincidence or what so very strange behavior currently are happening uh, over to Bitrix hopefully you know it's nothing uh, to worry about and finally no other exchange has experienced this pattern in the, their assets cryptocurrencies that were not listed on Bitrix were not affected in the same way every other exchange we looked at Binance Kraken, Bitstamp, Coin, Coinbase, GDAX, COS, uh, Cryptopia, Yovit all experienced patterns that were indicative of market reactions stemming from a single source of flash sale down Bitrix. So there you have it guys, this is the latest. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the article. You can come check out the whole article. You can read it for yourself. And again, as I said guys, this is my personal advice. Unless you need an exchange for whatever reason, uh, such as selling, exchanging, I don't know, maybe even holding. There are certain cryptocurrencies that possibly don't have wallets uh, or you feel like safe holding them in an exchange, then fair enough. But myself, I try to not hold cryptocurrency over to an exchange. One thing is also very disappointing. Um, it has happened to me in the past is with those exchanges and I feel like they're they're obviously doing it, it feels like they're doing it on purpose, uh, such as you try to send from your wallet certain X amount of cryptocurrency to an exchange in order to sell or trade simply because the price is high and it takes ages to be credited.